What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So we're going to talk about something that's probably rarely thought about, talked about, or, you know, hey, what are you going to do if this happens? A lot of us are OTR truck drivers. We run over the road. We're going three to four weeks at a time, you know, and we're just doing what we got to do, you know? Now, if you are, God forbid, let's say you're in an accident and you ended up dying, how are you going to get home? Hold on, let me move for the dough. How are you going to get, how is your family going to get you home? Because you can't just show up in a car and pick up a dead body. At least I don't think so. Um... I'm sure there's special transport and all for that. Like it's, and I'm sure that's something that we just don't think about. Like, what are you leaving your family with if some of that happens? And is it covered by your insurance? Is your company going to help? I, I mean, I doubt it. Some of them will, but some of them won't. Well, on the day after Christmas... 2021, 56-year-old Darren Worcester. He's a long-haul trucker. He was in an accident um, near Grants, New Mexico. And he's from Cedar Rapids, Iowa. He ended up dying from the injuries. Well, his wife, he has a wife and kids, his wife has been trying to figure out how to get this guy home. She can't get a hold of the insurance company. The company's not willing to help her. They say it's an insurance matter, but the insurance director's not helping her. Like, and it makes you think, like, how long... Somebody asked about the dog. There he is. How long do you sit and wait and try to get your loved one back home. Like, what is the, you know, what's the thing here? Like, why? Why is it so hard to get us moved, get truckers moved? You would think there's some kind of funding or something for that. Well, there's a nonprofit organization called Final Mile. Um, and this is exactly what they do. They were the ones that got Mr. Worcester home. They got him moved from Colorado to Iowa. Free of charge. Did not charge the families. And according to data, in 2019, 843 truck drivers lost their family or lost their life i'm sorry we have a fatality rate of 26.8 per hundred thousand workers compared with the rate for all u.s workers of 3.5 fatalities for every hundred thousand workers that's huge that's huge. So, what are you going to do? So, think that's something you've got to think about and you've got to prepare and talk to your family about. But, big kudos to the last mile or final mile. Big shout out. Um, I'm going to try to get a hold of them and get a link so we can donate if that's what we want to do. Um, I know I will be donating. And if anybody that is part of that sees this video, please get a hold of me, Dave, or sorry, David at hotshotdave.com. Um, let's see if we can help you guys out. See if we can get you some money. Thank you for taking care of the truck drivers. And truck drivers, don't leave this on your family. This is something we have got to deal with and take care of while we're still here. Um, if this kind of information is uh, 
stuff you think you, you need to see and hear, make sure you like and like, share, and subscribe. Um, you hit the notification bell, make sure you hit all so you get all the information. Till then, I will see you tomorrow. Peace.